Hi everyone, part two of the Sex in the City is the Sarah Jessica Park I Love Carrie Bradshaw and I'm looking forward to doing this one because there's a bit more colour in it than I like colour so first we're going to start with some bronzer again and she doesn't have that much on but we're going to have a little bit on my cheeks and then a little bit of blush first going to start with a bit of Barry M Dazzled, Dazzle in Bronze and Powder in a Kupiki brush or any bronze and brush you've got, just stick it on and we're just going to gently sweep it around the cheek area same again on this side and then a little bit on the forehead and then a little bit under here then we're going to take a lovely blush and it's by e.l.f. and it's called Innocence and Carrie Bradshaw has a lot of pinks on her cheeks so we're going to have a little bit of that so just going to apply it with a little brush just a little cheek brush and we're just going to sweep it on the apple of the cheek Same again on this side. It's not too much and it's not little, it's lovely, just the right amount. You'll see in the end photos, it's very hard to see with the light in here, but it looks nice. Then once you've got that, I'm going to apply the e.l.f. all over concealer stick again to our eye area. I'm really loving this as a base, it's brilliant. Just going to stick it all over your eyelid. come right up because we're going to be doing something up here too same on the other side come right up into the brow bone as well because we're going to be putting colour on both of them right now got something in my eye we're going to be using some L'Oreal colour appeal I love this as a highlighter open up and it is what colour I can't see it's rubbed off but it's that one it's like a light ivory and it's great for highlight I don't know where the, the label's gone, it's gone. So first we're going to start by applying a little bit of that into our eyebrow bone. Really pack it on. So there's a nice golden glow in the, on the eyebrow bone area. Really bring it in and down into the nose area. Just swirl it around. You practically want to cover anywhere above your crease for this bit. same again on the other side and just keep highlighting the whole area leaving the lid spare just a little bit more under there that's better put a bit on my finger and just apply it there just to add extra highlight to that eyebrow bone. Now we're going to apply some Stiller eyeshadow and it is called Go Lightly and it is beautiful. It's like a dark smudgy brown, bronze, goldy bronze. It's really nice, you'll see in the end photos. So we're going to apply a little bit of this to our eyelid with a little eyeshadow brush and we're going to just pack it on it's like a chocolatey smoky brown it's really pretty but it's not too chocolatey brown it's not overpowering and it mixes perfect with that colour that we've just put on beforehand
Again, it's not a completely overdone look. It's just right. Same on this side. Pack it on first and then blend it. Now, once we've done that, we're going to take a black liner pencil and I'm using a super soft eye crown by Barry M. And again, we're just going to rub it gently into the lash line. And we're going to go all the way across. So just rub it gently into the lashes. You don't want it too thick. So by rubbing it into the lashes, just teasing it along. I tend to find this works a bit better. Especially if you're not using a liquid liner. If you're using a liquid liner, you can put it on the actual skin and not really into the lash line. But if you're using a pencil, you may want to do it into the lash line so it doesn't become too thick and hide all your eyeshadow you've just done. Because there's nothing worse when you've done a great eyeshadow look and then you go and ruin it by putting too thick of an eye line on. Because I know people with small lids, mine aren't that big. And it, the black completely covers what you've just done. So you only want to do a little bit and come out a little bit at the ends. Then we're going to apply a little bit on the lower lash line. And we're going to smoke it out with a little brush. Where it's gone? Here it is. A little, it's an eyeshadow smudge brush and it's by e.l.f. And we're just going to smoke it out. Sorry, my camera cut off there. So again, we're going to just smoke it out into the inner corner. Then once you've done that, you're going to put your mascara on. And I'm just going to use a bit of MAC Mascara X this time. You can use any mascara and you just tip your head back and give your eyelashes a bit of a wiggle. From root to tip. Same on the other side. And a bit on the lower ones if you want, it's optional. Now Sarah Jessica Parker's lips are quite rosy pink, so I've picked out a lovely little lipstick, which I hope you like. And it is this one here, and it's really pretty. It's a rose pink with kind of gold infused, and it's number 132 by Barry M. I'm just going to apply this all over our lips, starting at the top. It's very sheer and you're going to see more of the gold than the pink which is good so if you want the pink to come through a bit more you put a couple of layers on and it builds up such a really pretty colour. And I would say majority of them products are cheap as chips. You can't go wrong. So I hope you like my Sex and the City Sarah Jessica Parker look. Carrie Bradshaw. Zoom zoom. <laughs>